Look here at this basic definition of derivative. You know what this is. Let's apply this basic definition to our function natural log x and see what happens. I'm going to do that. I have limit as h approaches 0. We have natural log of x plus h minus natural log of x. This right here is my definition being applied to this basic function right here, natural log x or h. Pull out the h, 1 or h, limit as h approaches 0. Look. I have independent logs here with their difference it becomes a common log with a quotient x plus h over x you know this makes sense common log quotient independent logs difference look here algebraically we'll manipulate this we're looking at 1 or h limit as h approaches 0 I would have natural log of 1 plus h or x this right here is equal to that algebraically you can manipulate it a substitution is warranted here. If u is equal to h or x, you know h is equal to u x. These are the substitutions you'll bring right over here and here. I have 1 over u x. I have limit as u now approaches 0 because the substitution h becomes a u. We have natural log 1 plus u. Focus right here, 1 over u x. This is 1 over u x, which is no different than 1 over u times 1 over x. I'm going to manipulate this using my properties of logs i'm going to transport that one over u right over here a coefficient will become here a exponent we have one or x limit as u approaches zero natural log one plus u to the power of one or u focus right over here this right here if you evaluate it separately you know this you're familiar with this it will give you a natural log of e this right here if you graph it it looks something like this you're looking at a function which looks like that obviously i've kind of distorted it but this right here, that y intercept, intercept will be equal to e as you approach values of 0 from the right or from the left, your function will approach the value of e. And that right there is the outcome of this part right here. Natural log e is equal to 1. What remains is exactly 1 or x. We've established now that the derivative of your natural log x is equal to 1 or x. And this right here is your limit approach to determining this.